Trials of experimental Ebola treatments are to begin in two of the hardest hit countries. The medical charity MSF is to start using three new drugs at its treatment centres in Guinea and Liberia in a joint project with researchers. While well, the University of Oxford's clinical research unit is leading the trial of one of the drugs, Professor Trudy Lang joins us live from there. Good afternoon to you. Tell us how this trial is going to work. Good afternoon. Yeah, well, what we're going to do is um, introduce this drug into a treatment centre in West Africa and treat every um, patient that comes in and slowly assess uh, what happens with each of these and build up the um, evidence we have on this drug and uh, see if we can find out if it's working or not within a rigorous setting of a clinical trial. Yeah, it is going to be rigorous and it's fairly unprecedented to have these trials going ahead while there's actually an epidemic going on. Exactly, and that's the element actually we're really excited about. Um, normally, an epidemic has come and gone within, you know, maybe nine months or so, and it often takes eighteen months to set up a clinical trial. So we never have the opportunity to gather evidence within an outbreak, and that's why we don't have um, any evidence-based interventions or treatment or even um, protocols on what to do in these situations. So being able to evaluate a drug is is just critical because we ne we need to have a treatment for Ebola and we need to know that it works and it's safe, and the only way we can do that is within the rigour of a clinical trial. So it's, um, it's going to be quite something to get it set up as quickly as we're trying to do within three months rather than 18. But it's really important to be able to run a trial in this context. It's three different trials at once, isn't it? So presumably the aim is to throw everything at it and see which one actually works. Yeah, well, it's, um, it's slightly more um, sophisticated than that, thankfully. What we're doing is doing this with... MSF are, um, are being amazing and, and are hosting um, three different research groups to run three different trials and we'll all be working in different sites um, with the support and help of Médecins Sans Frontières so there won't be any overlap between the trials and they'll all be able to be very carefully run individually with each in a different treatment centre and so each can be carefully managed to answer its own question and make sure that each one is done rigorous, rigorously within that setting. Yeah, I'm sure rigour is the key here. I didn't mean to be blasé about it, but you knew what I meant. Um, when are you actually hoping for some results? Well, um, the way the trial's been designed is that we can, it's called adaptive trial design. So as the patients are dosed, we'll keep continuously looking at the evidence that's coming out and evaluating the statistics. And we hope we should have an answer within a few weeks. It all depends how strong an effect we see, if, if indeed we do see um, a benefit. And that will dictate how, how quickly the trial um, can be answered. And how quickly, if you see one of these treatments working, will it be possible to scale up production of any of these drugs to actually treat people who are suffering at the moment? It depends on which drug comes through as being um, the sort of most promising candidate, but part of the selection of which drugs to go into clinical trials with is the question of can it be scaled up and to put into widespread and affordable use. So with all the candidates that are being evaluated, there's ongoing discussions with the organisations that make the drugs um, about how they could be put into um, scaled up use if they're shown to be effective. Okay, Professor Trudy Lang, thanks very much for joining us. Thanks for your expertise and good luck with the trial. Thank you. Thank you.